Good morning and hope you all have been well and this is part 16 of the Night in the Woods Let's Play. So yeah, I also do want to apologize for the lack of uploads as of late to keep it simple since I know I brought it up multiple times on multiple different Let's Play videos. I've just been very busy with work and I haven't really put a lot of time into YouTube. I'm hoping to somewhat change that, hopefully, maybe, no promises, but I will try to get more into rejuvenation and Night in the Woods, so yeah. Anyways though, let's get on with the main story. Sup dude, um, uh, long night, weird night, what's up? I'll tell you at band practice, cool, what you up to? Just saying hello. Uh, we're gonna head out for band practice. Um, I think we... I'm pretty sure on the last episode we went to the church and did the whole uh, rat thing. If I didn't, then... Whoops. Yeah, let's do this. I probably should go check the other episode, but I'm just gonna go with it. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Uh, let's see here. So I assume we can't talk to Bay or Angus there. I think it's six, seven, eight, nine that I have the uh, keys for the guitar. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee on the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair enough. Fair. Ready to go. Yeah, let's do this crap. Okay, let me see here. Hopefully I got it right. Uh. Okay, maybe we're having technical difficulties. Alright, sorry about that. I think I realized what I did wrong, but um, we should be okay now. Let's see, what did that say? Pumpkin head? I'm doing it wrong, aren't I? Okay, what are the keys that I used before? Okay, I don't remember the keys that I used. Hold up. Okay, so... Apologies again. I looked at it and I was like one row off, but apparently you can jump on the stage to actually talk to Angus and B or Bay, however you pronounce her name. So we'll go on ahead and do that. Uh, ready to play? Yeah. Go convince Greg he's all slow today. Can do. Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, May. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm having a very boring week. Geez, I'm envious. Eh. So how about the Demon Tower? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know yet. Haven't gotten too far. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. Well, all right then. Cool, cool. And that still like reminds me. I, I don't know if there really is anything like, I guess like story related to that game at all, or if it just kind of like changes some like dialogue with Angus there, because like, I feel like if you actually gotten like far or maybe beaten the game, Maybe there might be like a different response, but I don't know if it really like influences like the like any like change within the story. I will assume it doesn't, but I'm not 100% certain. Anyways, let's try not to uh, derail any further and let's try not to screw this up again for the third, fourth, second time. I don't really remember <laughs> something like that. Okay, pumpkin head guy.
Okay, here we go. I'm still waiting to screw this up, though. It kind of sucks because it's like I want to see like what they're doing, but I know if I look away, I'm gonna screw it up. You know, I know I'm gonna jinx it. So far, it doesn't seem super complex, but I'm I'm waiting for it to get complex. Here it comes. Yeah. I'm screwing this up, yep. I'm sorry, I'm not a Guitar Hero Master. It seems they're all skeletons though. Cool song, but I'm glad it's over. I don't know, like, I know if, um, what is it, my sister, she's the one that, like, introduced me to the game. I I'm not like her when it comes to those weird, like, music click on the button kind of like games. She's, like, a master at it, but me, I'm, like, a boomer when it comes to stuff like that. But anyways, uh, pretty good. Yeah, that was okay. Not bad considering I don't know the song. I'm going to place a bet that, oh wait, four strings and the spite to use it or something like that. I, I missed what that said. But I'm going to like assume there has to be like an achievement or something like if you hit every note perfectly. Maybe so because like she was talking about, I'm talking about my sister that introduced the game to me. She like brought up like some weird achievement like you have to fail every note apparently. Something weird like that, so I assume there's got to be like an opposite. That it's like, you cannot fail a note. If so, then you kind of fail the achievement thing. Maybe there is, maybe there's not, I, I don't know. Uh, Wii Or, I don't even know what word I just said there. So fast. You just push the button. I am so tired. I strain my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're a dream or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after, while I was asleep. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something, because this is scary. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it, I guess it like skipped uh, May explaining the whole... Alright, sorry for the pause there, had to get some water, but, um, the whole, like, kidnap murder thing, whatnot, so, I guess I, like, jumped ahead of that. I don't know, because it's, like, I, I, like, think about it, because, like, there is, like, the whole, like, missing thing about Casey. Now, is it possible that, I don't know, Casey, I don't know, went missing, got mad at Possum Springs, and is starting a, I don't know, like, a weird... I don't even know, like, the word, because it's, like, uh, like, I guess, like, some weird, like, kidnapping thing. I, I was about to say the word, like, cult, but, like, a cult is, like, a group, technically, so that's not, like, the right word, but th there's got to be, like, some sort of, like, word, I, I guess, like, a kidnapper. Like, I don't know if he just got, like, mad and was, like, you know, it's screw this city or town, whatever, and he was the one that did all the gra graffiti stuff and whatnot, or... It could be a much more wild thing that Casey was kidnapped. I think that's more likely than Casey being the one doing this, but it is possible, of course. But um, I'll safely assume somebody else, you know, did the whole graffiti thing, kidnapped him. And I'm trying to go back on, like, all, like, the dreams and all of that, right? Because it's, like, um, like the first, like, three to five dreams, whatever it was, it was, like, running around going after four instrument players 
and going around, you know, this weird world-like thing. I, I've always thought of it as, like, old-time Possum Springs, something to maybe do with, like, the grandfather, maybe his upbringings, building the town and whatnot, but... I don't know, like, I mean, like, I still stand with that because it's, like, I don't think it has anything, like, to do with, like, Casey. It might. I don't know yet. But the thing is, the most recent dream, the well, that I don't know much about because, like, that's the first dream so far that's completely different than the other dreams that we had so far. But I don't know. I feel like I rambled about nonsense there. I'll leave it at that. Pretty much where I'm getting at is, like, I'm trying to, like, piece the puzzle together you know and just throw some mud at the wall see, seeing if it like sticks and whatnot but there's just not enough info as of now but the only thing that I can confirm is something weird is going on in Possum Springs and I go back to what I've been saying here and there I'm not forgetting about the whole grandpa prologue situation where, what was it, in the hospital bed, like, he stood up and said, like, ghosts pointing at, like, the lighthouse. It was something like that. I don't want to forget, like, that whole thing either, but I don't know. I'll leave it at that for now. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. I think we'll be honest. I, I don't think May is honestly, like, okay with it, so we'll be honest. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Uh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Uh, dude, I was about to say, like, they. I don't think they're, like, making fun of her. Like, they're just like, okay, yeah, that definitely was not a ghost. Like, they, like, even though, like, May and all of them may have, like, bro moments here and there, it's always nice that no matter what, they are, like, really, like, close friends and they are taking this seriously, so really good friends overall. Uh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghostly stuff happening around here, like, from a source we could trust, such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? I, I doubt that. What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go on and check out the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper on file going back a century if there's some secret history of kidnapper ghost. We'll find it there probably. Oh, well, there comes the whole, like, grandpa thing then. Well, then, you know, it'd be kind of wild. Kidnap our ghost. What if it's like like an old, like, eh, that's a stretch. No, I, like, again, like, sorry, I, let me piece things together. Because, like, they're in, like, Grandpa's age. There's no way there's, like, some, like, old man, like, kidnapping kids at, like, that kind of, like, well, who knows what's going on in, like, the real world. But, but like, the, the game. Let's stick to the game. Um, like, I don't know. Maybe some, like, really old man that's, like, kidnapping people or old lady. Could be anybody, honestly. Um, it could be some, I don't know, like, non, like, animal-like person. Just some weird, like fable tale thing because like there is like the whole thing with like the stargazing thing i strongly doubt that that's like that's like a tinfoil hat theory i feel like but it's like i don't know though but it, it could be like a i don't know it might be like a cult group kind of like thing because it's like okay like during like grandpa's age like the group i don't know the ghost is what they were called and he was like freaking out about it and it's like an old time like group that's been passed down centuries after centuries. I mean, I don't know, but like I, even I feel like that's a stretch. I don't know. I feel like I've rambled about stupid stuff and nonsense. Let me stop there. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When. When's the last time you were at a library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, wow. Or how, sorry. Rich dude who paid for it way back when. 
Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Um, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. I don't know. Hopefully we get some, like, info with, like, this whole thing. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. And now it's like one of the graffiti murals. After someone gets shot or hit by a car, this mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Alrighty. Oh, so I guess it's going to be her with us. I kind of thought Angus and Greg would have joined us, but I guess not. But real quick then, I noticed that, um, oh, okay. Uh, pumpkin head. Okay, so they drew somebody there in, like, the hood. Um... I don't know, because it's like... I assume that's like a hat. Maybe like a miner's like hat, because like... You can't see my cursor. But like, it looks like a helmet. Maybe like the light end on the... Uh, whatchamacallit, like the left side there, maybe? Or it could be some weird duck-like creature. And then there's... The Void, is what I'll call it. Uh, Harfest, Halloween... Three weird teens I met. No, 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 no. Three wise teens is what you mean. Uh, let's see. I wanted the help. I'm garbage. Oh, the argument that happened. A big snake. Oh, the uh, stargazing thing. Space dragon. So far, a lot of these kind of seem the same. Selmer's Poet. Sorry if I'm being kind of like quiet. I'm just kind of like looking through it. I don't really have much to say on it. Okay. Let's get back to it. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Micro... Fiche? I, I don't know how you say the word, or fish. I don't know. Uh, micro fish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Oh, hold up. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. So I guess there's a guy named Larry around here. So I guess we can't really jump. Well, makes sense since she's with us there. That's got an elevator. That's kind of fancy for a library. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a library with an elevator though, honestly. I know there's some that have like, let's say like a second story, but I'm kind of curious. Well, there definitely probably are libraries with elevators. Anyways, that's not super important. Uh, looks like someone left something open on, on this computer. I, I misread what that said, sorry. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. I mean, that's not really how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately, you know, because it I feel like I would use that phrase wrong, but like, let, let me try a better term. Like, you know, sometimes like, that's just not what it is, you know? Sometimes life just happens, sucks. 
You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing else there. But good luck to them getting a job. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was the thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. Um... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Where a cute thing followed you around 24-7, yelling about, like, sharing and not littering. Ooh, what if it's Charity Barity that's, like, kidnapping, like, kids and people and whatnot? That'd be super wild. I mean, to be fair, it did say earlier, what was it, the first prompt? Kidnapped by a cult, so... I don't know. And paying taxes. Well, that's an important, uh, skill. I was five. I'm 20 now and still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to state infrastructure budgeting meetings. Uh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, oh no, austerity? However you say that. Uh, what's that? Reason the two bridges and out of Saltson Town are still closed. Oh wow, you can still like go to Saltson Town. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, sorry. Uh, you're welcome to try. Geez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity Danger Everywhere Itty. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. I guess that's it then. For that. Oh. Okay, so we're not... Okay, so I can't go there. I thought that was gonna, like, lead somewhere. I know we're looking for, what was it, like, a newspaper? That goes over, like, like the older, like, town? Let's see. Oh, so there's like multiple levels. Okay. Well, makes sense. It's an elevator. I don't know why you would build one with um, like a second story. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain-like fence, or flew over it, or something, while carrying something. Alright, well that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy, because he took someone, and he's like someone connected to this thing I've been going through, and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more bad in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Alrighty. I guess we'll take a look on up here then. I wonder where Larry is though, because like... The one guy was talking about him being around here. Before I do that... Okay, we can't go over there. Alright, there she is. Cool. So... I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so dumb, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you blank. Aw. Um. Uh, we friends, uh... Betwees, however you say that. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your blank is in charge. 
All right, let's take a look here. All right, so what are we looking for? Well, real quick, I want to read. A tragedy at the Stafford Mine. Something occurred at 6.20 a.m. at the Stafford Mine. It sees while men attempt to rescue any survivors. Something have been pulled out alive with 20 dead. Occurred 10 miles deep in the mine and only one group was able to escape before the elevator's rope snap of men plummeted to their death so far hopes of finding survivors is low the main actually hold up i see the little box thing i bet we can read that we'll we'll read like the main text and then we can actually move around let me do that i want to steer no move i'm steering how geez may i'm sorry Okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? Um, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Okay, that works a lot better for me. Okay, hold up. We'll just kind of go through a top row and around. Uh, pie piracy, dear citizens, please make note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we are we are experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from other kitchens disappear disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only the something pies until this criminal is caught or the bad weather returns. We remain remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to blank. Okay. Little local ghost there, but before that. The Stanley T. Possum statue known by residents as Posse is finally slated for demolition. Posse closed in 1967, but Richard Colson, son of Samuel, had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Posse stood silent for close to 60 years witnessing the beginnings of the demise of the railroad, the mines, and the coke works that ushered in his existence. Teens and other vandals broke into Posse over years, and climbing up through Posse became rite of passage for many young people in the area. Residents have been torn over what to do with their beloved, but dialect structure, however you say that word. Over the years, but three years ago, pressure began mounting to have it torn down. A storm knocked off Posse's car, sorry, ear, and the next year, Ralph Jenkins fell from the staircase and broke both legs. Samantha Colson, like daughter of Richard, finally agreed that it was time for Posse to go. The demolition will begin at 12 p.m. on Saturday, and viewing areas will be set up at a safe distance. Interesting. So it seems like there's going to be a lot to read. Can I get the box? Let me just do this. Progress Springs and Possum Springs, Randolph... No, I had that right. Stafford, owner of the Bells Hole Mine Works, has partnered with Samuel Coulson, owner of the Coulson Coke Works, Daniel Glick, or Glick, however you say that, Railroad M Magnet and Promo Prominent, sorry, business owner Harrison something to make some stunning improvements throughout the town. The four men desire to build a model of progressive living right here in Possum Springs. The old miners' double houses on Elm Street will be torn down and replaced with spacious single homes. A new elementary school will be opened nearby along with a new state-of-the-art re creation center courtesy of Arnold Applebaum that is in addition to the improvements Randolph Stafford promised the previously striking miners there has been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time um, Edgar reports that he saw the pure white beast digging near shade gap Mr. Strutter has declined to give any more on an exact location and implores his fellow hunters to admire this anomaly from afar and leave him to his business. We cannot agree more with this upstanding 
No, I had that right, sorry. A citizen, I remind townsfolks that if you are interested in seeing an albino creature to stop by Sudi's Barbershop for a peek at the albino raccoon, we're certain that this will assist your mind in completing the search for the groundhog. Alrighty. I don't know if it like really like matters to read all of this, but I kind of want to anyways. And then if you kind of like want to like skip on ahead, that's totally fair too. Uh, strike. A strike at Stafford Mine has been called. The idea first arose after a memorial for the 1888 e explosion victims. 1888, I feel like I said that wrong. Uh, miners gathered in the house of Arthur Borowski to continue the memorial to their friends. They also began recounting all of the promises the boss had a reneg or Renage, however you say that. On this past year, including the basic safety measures to avoid another explosion, a group of 20 miners entered the mines to begin the strike and 30 more joined them bef before morning. All work has been stopped at the mine and miners are now striking in 8 hour shifts. Their wives and children have begun to bring food and water for the men. The boss have stated that the mines are safer than they were a year ago and that there is no act in this manner. Local ghost Little Joe added again, As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any sinus survey, Little Joe. Purportedly, however you say that, the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become designate destination sorry, for unruly and often destructive local youths and such as Possum Springs City Council's considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstone that filled the small hollow where Joe Shea lies buried. Police have also stepped up to patrol the area, so be warned, thrill seekers. You may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Okay. Okay, so we read the top ones. Samuel Colson has purchased 10 acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs when we inquired as to what Mr. Colson would use the land for. He would only remark that it was coming here would be the light both young and old for the years to come. We are very anxious to be delighted. I feel like I read that all wrong, sorry. Okay. Underground gases afflict many. The house on Lark Street have been evacuated after the disc I can't read. The discovery of gas buildup in the basements was found to have led to hallucinations in scattered members of the households. For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or seeing things that were not there. One older woman was found having an animated discussion with an empty chair when pressed she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister, who had already passed away some years ago. Sorry. Uh, two nights ago, the son, Carson Zimmer, ran out of the house and kept it into Cooper's Pond one mile up the road. Moments before, the child had been readying for bed and, according to another sibling, became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house into the night where his watery grave awaited him. The last event persuaded residents to request help from... No, I had that right, sorry. Um, help from officials to see if this related to St. Lovin's Lantern. A phenomenon where exposure to specific underground gases led to certain victims experiencing walking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and sense of unseen presence. A preliminary test indicated the gas is present in the ha homes. 
and mining officials are moving the residents until more tests can be completed. So honestly, then like that explains the whole like grandpa thing, I feel like. Unfortunately, just with him like actually like working like the mines and whatnot, most likely. And you know, dealing with like the gases and all of that. He probably started like hallucinating with the whole like lighthouse thing. Like, look, there's a ghost over there. And it kind of like makes sense because like he kind of like grew up within like this area or area well era and area you know hearing all of like you know the ghost stories and all that other stuff so i feel like that kind of like answers that kind of whole thing then something like that uh the new old store in town central sorry i just kind of want to move the box out of the way the old pickaxe hardware store is set to have its grand opening this Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday and our towns will benefit greatly from this new addition. Roy Burge is bringing 25 years of building experience into his new venture and has stocked the shelves with all of the nuts, bolts, and nails you would need for any project plus the latest in tools. Stop by, see the latest in trends and everything from hand saws to hammers. Best of luck to you, Mr. Burge. Strategy at Stafford Mine. Okay, so that is one we already read before, so I'm going to skip through that one. Yes, we read that one. A spectral happens happenings at Possum Springs, or at Possum Jump, sorry. The two local sweethearts startled. I can't read. The two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the Lovebirds, at approximately 11:45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of any having leapt through the great height leaving the exact nature of what they too saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills, Possum's Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reserve. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Strike lumbers on. I don't... I don't think we read this one. The strike is now in the 30th day with no end in sight. The bosses have refused to meet with their miners, saying their demands are too fantastical. The miners claim they are only asking the bosses to adhere to safety standards that are already the law. The National Guard was called in after last week's scuffle, and the Colson uh, Coke Works Union has joined the cause which has caused an uphick tick. Sorry. In national pressure arriving at the site, the women's camp has expanded in services from serving meals to beating any non-union miner from entering the mine. So far, they have been successful in both ventures. Very interesting. So, I mean, I'll safely assume the kidnapper is like a real thing, but I kind of wonder if something like the grandfather is kind of like happening to like May. Like, she's kind of, like, hallucinating a little bit as well. Because, like, the dreams are very wild. And it is kind of, like, hard to believe, like, some guy, like, walked through, like, a fence. So, I don't know if she would be, like, affected by what the grandfather had. Maybe it's possible. I'm not too certain. Let's see. Okay, that's new. Okay, there's still quite a bit. A possum Massacre. Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. The bosses arrived to attempt a renew talks to and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown at the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle who was on strike below when the shooting broke out. Oh, that's super upsetting. The photograph of the two children aged seven and nine. God. 
who are shot and blood has circulated far outside of our little town, sorry, county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to strike the site to make the strikers independent inspectors who were also brought in and talks be finally began. 45 days since the start of the strike, the bosses have agreed to comply to the current safety standards to honor the demands of, of the miners. Honestly, I, I know I screwed that all up, but like... I don't know, I don't want to get into like in real life stuff, but like that's something like it just it sucks so much because it's like This could have easily been like prevented if you did everything right, but unfortunately You know people with power influence money You know at the end of the day they could easily care less About you know, like their workers and whatnot. I mean they'll have them do all sorts of wild stuff and you know whether it's safe or not and easily you know underpay them and a lot of these kind of people deserve way more than what they get you know that's what like almost like any job nowadays but like I don't know like it, it just it sucks because like I've always liked to like say it like I feel like common sense is like a dying breed more than ever like there's less and less people more than ever without common sense and I don't understand that because it's like, I don't know, like you would think like it'd just be easy and more beneficial, but at the same time, easy, beneficial, good safety and all that kind of stuff, you know, cost them money. Are they going to be okay? Yeah. But do they want to spend it? No. They will hold on to every cent that they can before letting that go. And it, it's not right. It sucks. And again, if they would have easily complied and whatnot, this would have never happened. Sucks. It sucks a lot. Events. The last trolley, sorry, no, I have the right trolley, or trolley, sorry, will make its run September 4th. Bernie Goss, the longest employer with 25 years as an operator, will pick up passengers starting at the Market Street tunnel entrance and will end at the trolley garage where the light refreshments will be served and speech will be given by Congressman Reed. Twin Club will be meeting at the Stags or Stags on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. This month's craft will be knitted hats for the soldiers along with potluck all mothers of twins of any age are welcome so i feel like it has something to kind of like do with like the events like the whole like dream thing like going through that like possibly like some people going through like the strikes and whatnot like i think there was like a dream with like the trolley of like the train or whatever so like i think i might be on like the dot about that like she's somehow like remembering within the dreams old possum springs like the upbringing building the town i think that's kind of like what those dreams kind of like represent a spectral happening at possum springs two local sweethearts were startled this past did i read that no i did not uh this past sunday night as they hiked alongside the wooded overlook known as possum jump according to the lovebirds at approx no i did read that i'm sorry a uh, sound off opinion line we would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from splitting sorry spitting on the sidewalk the this unsanitary habit is unseemly and beneath you i agree i think it's disgusting when people like spit on like sidewalks and stuff like that I don't understand that behavior, but some people are just gross. Parents, place, place. Please be sure your daughters are not participating in the new trend of skirts showing their ankles. I do not think we need to remind you which road of brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead your dear daughter down. I have been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming into our town on a Saturday night unchaperoned. Using vulgar slang terms certainly unfit for me to print here and blocking the sidewalk by walking arm in arm. They are loud and also flirt with boys unbashedly, however you say the word. While smoking cigarettes, these young ladies need to be stopped before young ladies get any ideas or our boys fall in with the wrong girl. 
Young men have been seen around Possum Springs engaging in ridiculous behavior of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. This type of outfit may be all the rage in Bright Harbor, but good luck getting any respectable businessmen around here to employ you. You all look like rabid clowns. Councilman, something plans for the 3rd Street is a joke. What else is there to say? Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. Okay, so I can't go any further with the box. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion on the house into its new headquarters and education center has it has hit a snag. Uh, Custodial head Jeed Newsom, however you say that, or Newsomy has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work, and I hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was nobody there, said Newsom. I'm just gonna say Newsom. Trying to get this map room operational for children, all the while I'm looking over my shoulder, expecting to see something knows what. Mr. Newsom had previously requested the work only daylight hours when the other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to to the off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor and then only go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm seeing Little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe for the... And initiated was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom or Newsom's claims at this time. A deep hollow county mourn. The final group of bodies from the 1888 explosions have been recovered two days shy of the one year anniversary of the tragedy. These five men bring the total of the dead to 112. See, like, I go back to what I brought up, like, earlier with, like, the thing that, like, sucks with, like, you know, like, the bosses, like, in this town. And it's something that's, you know, definitely happening today. Like, I don't know. It sucks, but, like, in their mind, all their workers are just numbers. And I hate to, like, word it like, like, like that, but I, I feel like that's just, like, what it is. Like... To me, like, 112, like, that's, that's upsetting. Like, that's more than sad. Like, that, that's a lot of lives, you know. A lot of, like, broken families and whatnot. And I know, like, it's like a game. I, I shouldn't get, like, super serious into it. But, like, even in, like, real life, many years ago, even now, like, well, I would say more in the past than now. But, like, events like this do still happen, of course, around the world. But anyways, though, like, it's just not right. It's not fair. But... You know, it just is what it is, unfortunately. I don't know, like, it just... It sucks, because, like... I just, like, I, I dwell on it, like, a little bit. Like, again, like, all it is is we're just numbers. Again, somebody quits, dies, like, in one of these events. Alright, that sucks. Bring in the new guy. Come on in. You want a job? And the cycle just continues, and it just... It just sucks. It sucks a lot, you know. But again, nothing you can do about it. Two of the men, uh, Adson Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the explosion, although mine bosses had been informed that gas pockets were present in the section. They elected to not perform mine and Harvey of the possible danger. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I had to get some water. But, like, again, like, I don't get that because it's like hey like something's up with this like we should check this out I feel like like if they spent you know some of their dollars to go in redo everything retest everything make sure it's clear good to go that that would be a cheaper alternative than allowing people like to die like I, I just I don't get that because like you're just you're spending much more and you're losing way more in the long run by not being safe about it like I, I just i don't know what goes through like their heads when they do stuff like that 
I don't know, and like, I, I'm not like the most smart person either, like, I'm sure most can tell that, but like, I still feel like if they, like, listen to like the words of like the workers, like, it's not safe, there's some gas leaks going on, or pockets like going on and whatnot, like, we need to like, like, air it out, get it all out so we can continue, let's say the bosses were actually good, did all of that, again, spend some dollars, make it safe, and just keep, you know, the ship sailing. Instead of like, no, we don't want to do that. And then all of a sudden, you know, let's say like you get like a giant hole in the boat. And it's just sinking and sinking and sinking. It's like, why not plug the hole very early on before we get to a position that it's like way, way too late. And you got to spend a boatload more to like make this like work. Because like again, with the whole strike and everything, like they're already losing a boatload as it is. And they're not really gaining any ground you know, work-wise with, like, the mine and whatnot, so it's like, why not just, like, not be stubborn and just spend a few dollars? I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, again, it's just how the rich operate, but, yeah. I don't know. It's like, I, I don't want to, like, sound like one of those people that it's like, I hate the rich. The rich are evil. Like, I, I don't want to, like, sound like, like that, like, either, but it's just, like, common sense. I go back to that phrase. Is just a dying art, a dying breed, however you want to word it. And slowly but surely, I, I just see it more and more as like I get like older. That is just there's so many people, not even just like rich people, but everyday people that just don't have common sense. It sucks. The other three bodies belong to Peter Belso, Christian Stanoff, and Peter something. Peter's funeral arrangements will be handled by Father uh, Lit as the man's widow has since returned to Hungary with two orphans. With his two orphans. Strange but true, a tale of teeth. Oh, so that might have something to do with, um, like the boss, or the boss, the tooth in the attic. Strange but the true is a is our ongoing series about weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow County history and culture published weekly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything with many a slur and punched the miner's head, sorry, leader, uh, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miner knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him, and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while the others removed all of his teeth with pliers. The teeth were passed out to the miner's and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of these teeth, and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. Interesting. So then, like, I guess, like, the grandfather was in all that. Because, like, again, like, the one, like, old lady down with, like, the pre pretzel shop, like, brought it up beforehand, like, your, your grandfather was, like, a menace. He was doing all sorts of random stuff and wild things. You know, to like the bosses and whatnot. And to be fair, do I blame them? No, not at all. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. The bosses survived this attack but never named his attacker for fear for, of implicating himself. When he died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be placed to a new member. Teeth of the members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth which str with strange markings, and their home strange but true. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this whole cult thing, digging up the skull, and doing some weird ritual stuff. 
You know what's crazy? That might have something to do with like the whole like hooded man. I mean, but it's like, but like why though? Cause like that era is like gone for like the most part. Maybe like, it could be like, like the like ancestors or like, you know, like the old miners, like children's children's and like, they're like, you know, future family and they still hold like a grudge. You know, like again, like spray, honestly, that makes so much more sense. Like spray painting, like, you know, Possum Springs, like nuke them or we're going to get rid of it. Whatever the graffiti and all of that said, they're mad because a lot of the miners, maybe like their history is like long and forgotten. Most people don't care about the sacrifice that they made and they're just trying to like prove a point. Like don't remember what they have done, what they sacrificed, you know, and don't like sweep it under like the rug. But again, like, why would that go into, like, kidnapping, though? I understand, like, the group. Okay, great. Fine. I understand that. But, why kidnap people? I don't know. I don't know. Like, are they, like, kidnapping? Because, like, is it, like, Casey Hartley, by the way? I have to, like, reread that. But, like, unless, like, they're going after, like, like, the bosses, like, future, like, family members of, like, today's society. But then again, like, I don't feel like that's right. I mean, like... Yeah, because, like, no, it isn't right. Because, like, they're not the ones that, like, did it. If that's what that is. I don't know. I don't know. But I think I pretty much read everything. Um... To save and quit. No, I don't want to like save and quit. How do I? Um. Maybe hold and save. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I get out of the computer thing? I gotta redo this again. It's not that big of a deal. Um, let me pause here. You know what? I just realized we're like almost like an hour in. Let, let, let's just stop there for now. Because we're gonna go like way over an hour if I keep this up, so... Yeah. Honestly, I'm kind of happy I went about it for, like, an hour, because, like, I, I really do want to, like, make more, like, progress with, like, the game, because, like, it, it's really interesting. It's definitely different than what, like, I normally would play, but I, I, I like where, like, it's kind of, like, going. Even though there are, like, quite a bit of, like, moving pieces going on, I, I do appreciate what, like, it's doing so far, so... Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, definitely do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.